Hi everyone, I'm Gary Pittsford and I'm in uh, Indianapolis, Indiana and our company is called Castle Wealth Advisors. I've met some, several of you in the last two or three conventions but I'm looking forward to coming back to your HDA Truck Pride Convention which will be in San Antonio in the Hill Country which is a pretty area. I've been to this convention facility before three or four times and if you haven't been there you're going to enjoy yourself. It's a nice part of Texas. But at the convention, we're going to talk about succession and exit planning ideas like we've talked about in the past. I've already worked with several of your members. I've gotten to know a few people. I'm looking forward to meeting some more. But the things that we're going to cover, uh, especially in 2012, this year, is taxes. Because we know what the taxes are this year, and we're all pretty sure taxes are going to go up next year. So there's some things that we should be doing and thinking about this year. Besides taxes, we're going to talk about what kind of corporations you should have. You've spent 30 or 40 years building up the business. Now, in the, if you sell in the next 5 to 10 years, what should you be doing now to minimize taxes when you get ready to sell the business or transition it? Should it be an S-Corp, a C-Corp? Should it be an LLC? Should it be a partnership? We're going to talk about those kinds of entities. We'll talk about whether the children want to buy out the owners. I helped some people uh, get that accomplished, some of the HDA members. Uh, the children inside the business are buying out the parents and the children outside the business that didn't go into the family business, we've taken care of them in order to equalize all of the children in different ways. We'll talk about key employees, whether the key employees want to buy you out or if you sell to somebody else, you want to retain the key employees, you don't want them leaving because there's a new owner. We'll talk about different gifting laws, transition laws, how to sell the business. We'll talk about retirement income. If we sell the business after building it up, how am I going to continue to get retirement income? What types of income sources will I have? There's real estate, there's deferred comp, there's selling the stock. There's all kinds of different ways of getting income out of a business. And for each of you, there's three or four different ways that fit you and your family. And we'll talk about those different transition and income ideas. We'll talk about reducing the taxes, like I said. And then we'll also talk about the kinds of documents that you need to protect the stock. If you move stock to children or to somebody else and you've got three or four stockholders, we got to talk about how to protect that stock in case of a divorce or in case of somebody dying in a car wreck. You know, if somebody uh, has a heart attack. You know, whatever the problems might be, we have to protect that stock so that the company can continue on. So there's six or seven different items that have to fit together in order for you to transition this business either to somebody else or to your children. And then you've built up your net worth over all these years. We want to minimize the taxes that we have to pay. We want to transition the illiquid business to somebody else. Hang on to the liquidity for you so that your liquidity can continue on for the next generation and the one after that. So how can you move your net worth to two or three generations and also sell the business? We're going to talk about those different ideas. I hope that you'll come to the class. I'll see you in San Antonio out in the Hill Country. I look forward to being with all of you. See you then. Bye.